The last thing we're going to look at is a couple of the inverse properties with logarithmic functions. So remember that when we rewrite logarithmic functions, the way that we would rewrite is the base of the log becomes the base of the exponent. And so if we think about these um, expressions here in the blue box, if I have the log base b of b to the x equals x, that means that b to the x, so that's this b and this x, are going to be equal to whatever is inside the log, which is b to the x. Well, this is clearly a true statement. If b to the x equals b to the x, then anything is going to be true in there. x can be anything we want. And so that is sort of the way that these inverse properties work. The same thing would happen if I rewrote this one down here. So whenever you take the log base b of an exponent expression that also has a base b, the log base b and the exponent base b, they basically undo each other. They are inverses of each other. And so that's why we just end up with x. So for example, thinking about this in terms of numbers, if I did the log base 2 of 2 to the x power, these two things undo each other and all I'm left with is x. Okay? Um, so x could be anything. If it was the log base 2 of 2 to the 5th, then x would be 5. Um, and the reverse of that is also true. If I do b to the power of the log base b of x, once again, these two things undo each other, and we just get x. So if we look at these examples down here, I have 10 to the log of 4 power. Well, don't forget that when we don't see a base written, the base is 10. So if I have 10 to the power of the log base 10, those two things undo each other, and so we just end up with 4. For b, I have the log base 7 of 7 to the negative 3x power. So everything is undone, and we're just left with negative 3x. Now, for these last two, we have to do a little bit of thinking, and if you use your yellow charts, that might help you out a little bit. So right now for C, I have the log base 2 of 64 to the x power. Well, 2 and 64, those don't match, so they aren't going to undo each other. But what I want to do is look at my chart or think to myself, how could I maybe rewrite 64 using a power of 2? And because 64 is equal to 2 to the 6th power, we can rewrite this. This is going to be the log base 2 of 2 to the 6x power. Remember that when we do a power of a power, we multiply the exponents. That's why we end up with this. And now we can see that the answer is just going to be 6x. So the same thing here. My base of my log is 5, so I need to try and rewrite 25 using a base of 5. And that one I can do. I can write this as um, 5 to the second power um, times the log base 5 of 2x. So this one is just a little bit trickier in that, remember this is multiplication. I can only put the 5 with this log base 5. So multiplication comes from addition. So this means um, 5 to the second times 5 to the log. Oh, well, I take that back. This one is actually harder than I'm thinking, so we are going to skip this one here. I won't give you any like that. That one's going to take a little bit more work. We need a little bit more knowledge to get there, so sorry about that. A, B, and C is what we are focusing on. And then the last thing is we can use our inverse properties the same way that we did when we found inverses in chapter 5. So remember that the first step when we want to find the inverse of an equation, for example, when we did something like y equals 3x plus 1, the first thing that we did was we switched x and y x equals 3y plus 1, and then we resolved the equation to get y by itself, so we end up with x minus 1 over 3 equals y. This is our inverse. And so we want to do the same thing down here. So right now, this is y equals 6 to the x, so the first thing we're going to do is switch. So I get x equals 6 to the y power. Now, we have this in exponent form. The inverse of exponential is going to be a logarithm. So your goal needs to be to get the exponential piece by itself, which in this case it already is. 
So once you've done that, then you get to the point where you kind of feel a little bit stuck. Whenever you feel stuck, that is the step when we're ready to rewrite this in its other form. So now that I have it in exponential form with the exponent by itself, I want to rewrite this in log form. So the base is 6, which means we're going to have the log base 6 of x equals y. Remember, logs equal exponents. And so now we have it solved for y, and that is going to be the answer that we get. Now for b, same kind of thing. I need to get uh, x and y switched. So I have x equals the natural log of y plus 3. Now because that's in parentheses, I can't get to that plus 3. So that means this is the log term, and it is all by itself. So now that the log term is by itself and I'm stuck, I'm going to rewrite it to its opposite form. Don't forget that the base of a natural log is base e. So the base is going to be e. Logs equal exponents, so I want my power to be x, and that is going to equal y plus 3. So then to get the y by itself, I just have one more step, which is subtracting 3 from both sides, and now I have the equation by itself. So you want to get as far as you can getting the y by itself until you get stuck, and it's usually when you feel stuck that that is the point where you want to rewrite the function in its other form, and that's how you find inverses.